at the gym, tired, did a bunch of lead work, doing some ab work, taking a small break because I'm super, super, super tired. Hair is sprouting, don't know what to do with it. About to get a haircut soon. All right, I'll talk to you guys later, bye. So today is day 80 for my 90 day slim fast weight loss challenge 10 days in counting guys for my challenge to be over and I'm feeling so strong like my arms are like oh my gosh I can't even believe the like the, the smallness of my arms and shoulders so I've been alternating days with integrating arm work but I've really been trying to work on my glutes my thighs and my abs that's what i've really been concentrating on but every other day i in like um do arm work too so i include that in my workout so that i'm really getting you know a good full body workout because one thing i really noticed is like the back of my arms you probably can't really see it that well but it used to be a lot of fat like so after when i put on my bra it will be like fat hanging over but it's like so much more toned. I'm starting to notice those little things that really make a big difference to how you feel, especially how you look in your clothes. So I'm like super excited. I am going so hard. Like I've been going hard, of course, but I am going so hard for these next 10 days because I really want to get the best results possible. Every time I go to the gym, I feel super pumped up like afterwards because I feel like I can accomplish anything. I feel nice and tight and the next morning I feel tight and I just feel like, oh my God, I'm doing this. This is getting done. So it, this is possible for anybody to do because I love my food. Okay, and if I, anybody who knows me, knows that Taylor will tear it down. Like, no food left behind. Like, <laughs> I was like, it, it was like serious. I love my food. I love my sweets. I'm just a foodie. I love food. And so having to downsize my portions and cut certain things out has been difficult. But it's so worth it for all of the energy you feel the confidence that you gain just overall the strength that you gain like I feel stronger I feel happier so like this is so possible anybody who's thinking about doing it just do it it just takes one decision to decide that I'm just not gonna have any more of the everyday things like losing weight is so much more than just having the ideal body because there are always going to be things about your body that you would like to change um, it's that's just plain and simple it's really about working hard to accomplish something for you for your health for your overall uh, you know loving yourself loving your body I mean don't get me wrong for those people who are happy the way that they are that is awesome but just overall fitness whatever your ideal goal is to get there and to make a decision not to wait until tomorrow because it's like after you finish doing it I'm at day 80 I don't even remember day one it's like it went past that fast all I had to do was just do it it seems so easy now that I've just done it even though the process was hard and it took a lot of mental discipline and it took a lot of physical discipline to stick with the workouts I could have easily went to the gym for 10 minutes and went home but I decided that I'm going to make sure that at the very least I'm going to do the machines that were in there that was really where it started for me like um, you know when I first start working out after I had my son it started with me literally going to the gym <laughs> and finding a workout machine every single workout machine in there like variety that worked on a body group I worked out on every single machine in there until I you know started watching different things started focusing on different areas and I toned up and then it wasn't until I found slim fast and started this 90-day challenge that I was able to integrate both which equals clear clear good results like a good diet and exercising clearly exercising is not the majority thing that's going to help you to lose weight. Your diet has to be 100% 
on point. You have to understand calories, what they do to your body. Because if you take in too many calories each day, it doesn't matter how much you work out, you're only going to tone what you already have. If your goal is to lose weight, then you need to reduce the calories that you take. Also, I have not showed you guys, but I'll put a picture in here. I've been using, um, there is, what is it called, babe? The Samsung, um, the thing that tracks your calories and your weight. Samsung Health, so I have a Samsung. And so I've been using Samsung Health, but there's a lot of different apps where you can um, like write down your food, they tell you how much calories are in the food. So it's, that's helped me to stay on track with my calorie count for the day. Every time I eat, I log it in, especially now that I've been doing my own snacks and my own, of course I've been doing my own lunches. So like before I will eat lunch or go out to lunch, I'll make sure whatever that I choose, I put it in the little calorie um, in the lunch box um, on the Samsung health app and it'll tell me how many calories is in that meal if the calorie intake is too high then I know I can either change the portion size or I have to change the meal because the calorie count is what's helping me to lose the weight not working out because I was working out for I mean working out hard for part a year and a half before I even tried slim fast <laughs> and that didn't I didn't lose anything I stayed the same way and my I lost some inches which is great but I didn't lose any weight and weight loss was my goal because I didn't want to be 200 pounds anymore so I mean really just takes a decision I don't even know why I started talking about all this but it's really just been on my mind all day long and it's really just that simple but that hard at the same time because I totally understand what it is to be psyched out in your mind from trying to diet. I mean, my son is four years old. If I could have got this four years ago, that would have been awesome. But it's been four years for me to finally light bulb. I need to change the way I'm eating completely, not just one day eating a salad. But totally, you know, some a lot of people say, and I'm guilty of this myself, I don't eat that much. I don't eat that much. I, you know, I eat small things, but it's about what you eat too, what you're putting in your body and how much of it you're putting in your body that actually matters. And when you actually go and look at these, like you go and you get a bag of chips and you look at the back and it says, you know, 80 calories. You need to look at the portion size too because it says 80 calories per serving look at how much how many servings each chip you know how many chips equal one serving most of the time it's like eight chips equal one serving this bag has a total of seven servings in it so instead of you thinking oh it's only 80 calories no you're eating 80 times seven that's how many you're eating when you're eating the whole bag of chips and when I realized that it blew my mind I'm like oh my goodness these chip companies the cookie companies the you know all they are tricking you when you look at the back because they count on you not reading the whole label <laughs> before you eat those chips. And then guess what? You've just eaten, you know, seven times the amount of chips that you really should have. And then you wonder, well, why in the world am I not losing the weight? You have to be strategic about it and you got to be dedicated to it. And it's possible. I did it. It's possible. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it because it's happening, but I can't believe it. I did it and it can be duplicated. It can be duplicated and you're not alone. So that's basically all I have to say today. I'm super excited, super pumped up. I'm ready for day 90 to get here so I can step on that scale and show you guys everything that I've done and everything that I've worked for in this past 90 days and that you supporting me and rooting for me and rooting for my success has not been in vain. So thank you so much and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.